Hi, I'm Philip Hundle. I'm an attorney in Texas. My practice area focuses on representing landowners uh, involved with uh, land partition matters and also facing condemnation proceedings. Um, we're uh, near the end of our series on land partitions. Uh, this has been, uh, it's been fun to go through. Uh, brings back a lot of memories of a lot of different cases I've had, a lot of different scenarios. So right now we're at the point where special commissioners have issued an award, uh, a report, and, uh, and one or both of the parties has uh, objected to uh, the report. And so, uh, you know, then, you know, the, the question is then what happens? So uh, as the, re the objections to the report have to be filed within 30 days of when the report uh, was filed, and uh, I mentioned earlier about uh, the report, uh, you know, what are the requirements of the report? And the report needs to be uh, signed by the commissioners under oath and then filed with the clerk. And then obviously, you know, parties need to have be noticed by that and typically the clerk will do that. Uh, but, you know, it always, for the attorneys, it's always important to stay on top of it. And you should know, hopefully, your special commissioners have, have told you, the lawyers, hey, we've issued the report or I filed the report uh, at the clerk's office and, you know, you'll be getting a copy soon. So, uh, objection to the report. So, uh, the second trial, and this is what a lot of people forget about or don't know, but, but there's a second trial. And that, at that second trial, um, the court, uh, you know, it, what is it trying to determine or what, what is it being asked to do? Uh, you know, the party that's objecting, obviously, to the report is asking the court to find that it, the report is, uh, you know, it, it's wrong. So it's uh, erroneous in some material respect uh, or unequal or unjust. Uh, and so it's asking, you know, that party's asking the court to reject it. So I always like to kind of put it this way is, if, you know, the court, you know, a party who objects to the report is asking the court to find that the reports obviously didn't follow the inst instructions of the first trial, the first order or judgment, the first trial. Uh, and then also uh, it's, it's unjust or unfair uh, division of the property because we're talking about an in-kind division that's what the report did of the special commissioners and so uh, and that the court finds and determines that there was a problem with the report and, and, and when we say it's, it says in the statute uh, a, a you know material uh, error in the report uh, or it's unjust uh, unequal then <clears throat> uh, this is a part of a lot of folks don't know is uh, the court's not going to send the special commissioners back to redo it. There's not going to be a, a, a do you know a, a redo or do over by the special commissioners. No, the court is going to uh, basically uh, get rid of that slate of three special commissioners and appoint a new group of three special commissioners, and this basically starts all over, right? Uh, and ask you know, that new slate of special commissioners to go back uh, and, you know, come up with a report. And so uh, I always kind of use this, you know, a, a partition can essentially continue to go round and round uh, if the court at that second trial finds that the report uh, is is wrong, you know, or there's an error. So, so that's something to always consider when dealing with partitions is, uh, how <clears throat> they can continue to go on. Uh, and then, you know, even if the court approves uh, the report and doesn't find anything wrong with it and says, you know, that they, it's, it's fair and it's just uh, uh, and it's an equal division, uh, obviously a party that's not happy with that can always appeal that uh, finding or that ruling of that outcome, um, that the, the outcome of the second trial to, to you know a higher court which would in this case be uh, in Texas the court of court of appeals so always something to remember uh, hope all this has been helpful this series of partition uh, real estate partition uh, videos uh, 
for Texas. So uh, once again, partition proceedings are very different. Uh, not many uh, attorneys uh, handle partitions, uh, you know, on, on a routine, consistent basis. And so a lot of times uh, these rules uh, are, are just, like I said, very different and they don't, uh, aren't familiar with them. So uh, good luck if you're facing a partition case. Uh, and once again, hopefully these videos have been helpful.